In this video, we'll be testing this Coleman Carlsbad four-person dome tent, as well as its screen room for its ease of setup, takedown, spaciousness, comfort, and more. I bought this Carlsbad four-person tent from Amazon, and inside the package, I got this carry bag, the tent body, the rain fly, a foot mat, as well as four poles and 13 stakes in separate carry cases. I put affiliate links below if you want to check it out. To set up this Coleman Carlsbad four-person tent, first grab these two poles, which are for the tent body and are slightly longer than the other two poles. Insert them into these blue pole sleeves at the center of the tent and this will make an X across the tent. Then prop both poles up by securing each end of both poles into these pins at the bottom of the tent. Use the pins between the red fabric right here. After that, attach all the pole clips around the tent. Then grab this next green pole, it's slightly shorter and it's for the screen room. Insert it into the blue pole sleeve at the front of the tent, prop the pole up and secure each end into the pins as well. Now grab the last rainfly pole, which has these black tips at both ends, insert it down the center of the rainfly and secure it with the two tiny pockets at each end and two velcro strips between. Then drape the rainfly over the tent by grabbing the rainfly pole and position the pole horizontally across the tent, like so. Secure the four S hooks of the rainfly to the four rings at the bottom of the tent where your poles are attached. After that, stake the tent body down with six stakes, four stakes for the dome tent, and another two stakes for the screen room. Also, guy out the entire tent with the seven pre-attached guy lines. It took me about 11 minutes to set up the entire Coleman Carlsbad four-person dome tent, including the screen room on my own, and here's a full time-lapse of it. Taking down the Coleman Carlsbad four-person tent and screen room is just the opposite of the setup, and it took me about 10 minutes for the entire takedown and pack up. For more details on the setup, takedown, and pack up, as well as tips on how I set this up on my own, I have this separate video on my channel. The peak height in this Carlsbad four-person tent is about 60 inches. I can somewhat stand up, I'm actually slouching a little, and my head presses against the top of the tent. Also, the peak height is only at the center because this is a dome-shaped tent. The rest of the tent slopes downwards. The length inside the dome tent itself measures about 8 feet and 8 inches, while the width measures about 6 feet and 9 inches, so slightly smaller than the marketed dimensions of 9 by 7 feet. But I could still easily fit 4 regular sleeping pads inside the tent, and here's what having 4 pads looks like. You do have to sleep shoulder to shoulder, but notice that there's a little bit of space between the four sleeping pads, so you could fit slightly wider pads too. There won't be any space left over for gear though. Alternatively, you can fit one queen-sized camping mattress and having just two people is a much more comfortable fit. Even though this mattress is quite thick, around 9 inches, I still had plenty of livable space to sit up and lounge around. There's also quite a bit of leftover room for storing gear, which is always very nice to have. You can also fit the queen bed in vertically, just note that it will take up the entire width of the tent. This Carl's bed four-person dome tent comes with a screen room as well. This screen room has a width of about 3 feet and 10 inches, and the longest length is about 8 feet and 8 inches, which is the same as the dome tent. It tapers off a bit at the front though, so the shortest length is only about 5 feet and 9 inches. The peak height in the screen room is only about 54 inches though, which is shorter than the dome tent, so I couldn't even stand upright in the screen room. This Carlsbad four-person dome tent has three windows in the entire tent. There's one window on each wall of the tent, and the last wall is a mesh wall. All the windows are about the same size. Each of the side windows measures about 35 by 18 inches, while the window that's part of the door measures about 34 by 20 inches. Each window comes with a window latch to hold the fabric when the windows open, two white zippers, and also a bug net to prevent larger bugs from getting in. This Carlsbad four-person tent has one door on the front length of the dome tent itself. It measures about 47 inches in length and about 35 inches in width, so it's pretty decently sized and here's what it looks like when I stand in front of it. It also measures about 52 inches from the ground to the top of the door, and I'm about 5 foot 3 so I had to duck when getting in and out of the tent through this door. This door comes with two door latches by the side to tie the door fabric up to keep it open, and it also comes with two black zippers to zip it open and shut. The screen room of this Carlsbad four-person tent comes with another one door. It spans almost the entire length of the screen room, measuring about 5 feet and 2 inches in length, so it's really quite big in size. It's only about 50 inches in height though, so a little shorter, and I had to duck even more when getting into and out of the screen room. 
The door of the screen room comes with two door latches, one on either side of the door to hold the fabric when it's open. It also comes with three black zippers. I think it should have come with one extra state loop at the front here to make unzipping a little easier. For storage, there are two pockets inside this Carlsbad four-person dome tent, each measuring about 9 by 7 inches. Inside the dome tent as well, there's one lantern loop at the very top of the tent where you can hang a lantern for lighting at night. Just outside of the screen room, there's another one more lantern loop as well. Also, there's one e-port at the bottom of the tent with a zippered closure. This Carlsbad dome tent also comes with Coleman's dark room technology, and I think you might have noticed by now that it's not as dark as it should be. This is what the dome tent looks like with the windows and door open, and this is what it looks like with the windows and door closed. It's a little darker compared to a regular Coleman tent without the dark room tech, but it definitely doesn't block out 90% of the light. After testing out a few other Coleman tents with the same darkroom tech, which are seriously a lot darker, I realized that this Carlsbad tent isn't as dark because Coleman used a different fabric for the bottom of the tent. It should be as dark as these windows, but they're not. It rained lightly while I was using this Coleman Carlsbad tent out camping, and it looked like this. Even in light rain, the entire screen room at the front of the Carlsbad tent got wet, and everything I had inside the screen room was wet as well. There's no rainfly protection, very little fabric protection from the top, and even the entire sides of the screen room had lots of mesh that let water in. Thankfully, it didn't rain for very long, maybe about 30 minutes or so. After the rain stopped, I found that the entire screen room had small puddles of water. Inside the Carlsbad dome tent itself though, there were no leaks and the dome tent was still dry. To test for heavy rain, I had to use this water hose. I concentrated the rainfall on the front of the tent, also near the screen room because I wanted to see how the tent and the screen room would hold up. At about 30 minutes in, when I decided to check in on the Carlsbad tent, I noticed that there were a few small puddles of water already inside the tent from the leaking seam of the bathtub flooring. Also, the black fabric at the bottom of the tent was starting to feel slightly damp, and of course the entire screen room was soaked. For some ventilation during the light rain test, I was able to leave the windows open because the light rain didn't get on the mesh of the windows. I was also able to leave the door open thanks to the little bit of protection from the screen room. The mesh wall at the back was also still dry after I took the rain fly off. During the heavy rain test though, even though the rain fly and this window awning did quite a good job of protecting the window mesh from the heavy rain, the bottom of the mesh still got wet because of the angle of the rain. The top was still fine though, so you could crack it open a bit. Also, because of these huge unprotected mesh panels at the sides of the screen room, the rain sprayed right into the tent and everything got wet. Thankfully though, there's this one mesh wall inside the tent which becomes a vent when the rain fly is in place. It spans almost the entire length of the tent and I was able to stick down the rain fly and leave this vent open in heavy rain. On a hot day though, you can take the rain fly off from the outside for more ventilation through not just the windows and door, but especially this mesh wall. The screen room has this fabric that's fixed in place at the top though, so you can't remove that. The flooring of this Carlsbad four-person tent is made of polyethylene and the bathtub feature extends up to about 9 inches. Even though there was a bit of light flooding in my yard overnight, the bathtub flooring actually kept my tent dry. All the dead grass and leaves washed up against my tent though and got trapped in the mesh, which was a bit of a pain to clean out. Both the tent body and rain fly are made of polyester, and the seams on the rain fly were taped, while those inside the tent were not. Only some seams inside the tent were inverted, like the black tent fabric to bathtub flooring seam, this vertical seam, and this black to blue tent fabric seam, because they have less rain fly protection. The seams of the Carlsbad tent are generally good quality, double stitched and consistent, with only one tiny loose thread. The mesh is just regular mesh, not noceum mesh, and it's decent quality. The zippers are also decent quality, and all of them are catch-free. I didn't have any snagging issues on the windows, and also no snagging issues on both the tent door and also the screen room door. While the zippers were color-coded white and black, I wish they had color-coded the fiberglass poles as well. They come in only one color. I also wish they made the pole sleeve for the screen room a little shorter, I found it super long and very snaggy. I've had this Carlsbad tent for a few years now, used it lightly, and I realized that some of the darkroom fabric is scraping off a little. It's not that bad though. This Carlsbad 4 person tent has a packed size of 26 by 11.5 by 8 inches. 
And here's what it looks like beside a Coleman two-person sundome tent and a 32-ounce Nalgene bottle for a size comparison. This Carlsbad four-person tent has a packed size as big as my Sundome six-person darkroom tent. Oh, and it weighs about 14 and a half pounds for everything. For pros, the base area is pretty generous in size and you can fit four adults into the dome tent, not counting the space in the screen room. Including the screen room, you'd have space for about five people or maybe one pet. I also found the setup pretty easy, taking me just 11 minutes on my own, including the screen room. Even the pack up was easy and I could get the entire tent back into the carry bag without even having to rip the strip off to expand the bag. I also really liked that I had quite a bit of ventilation on not just hot days but rainy days as well, thanks to these window awnings which gave my windows some protection and also this vent by the back wall. If you found this helpful so far, please help me hit that like button. Thank you, and I really appreciate it. As for cons, I think the biggest one is that rain protection for the screen room is terrible. The rain flag doesn't cover it at all, so you'd need to get an extra tarp if you expect rain. And the cleanup is a little bit of a pain, even though it comes with this mesh drainage for draining water. I also couldn't stand up in both the dome tent and the screen room. To get through both the doors of the tent and the screen room, I had to keep ducking, which can be a bit of a strain, especially if you have back problems. Also, the darkroom tech for this particular tent and this tent only seems to be a bit defective and a lot less dark than other Coleman tents with the same blackout feature. If you notice, this tent actually has kind of see-through fabric while my other darkroom tents have completely black fabric. After testing two Coleman dome tents with screen rooms, which is this Carlsbad and another one called the Evanston tent, I think I prefer the Evanston tent. It doesn't have darkroom tech, so it's quite a bit brighter inside the tent, but it does have many advantages over this Carlsbad. First, there's a lot more peak height and I could stand up and walk around in my Evanston six-person tent. Second, the rain flight of the Evanston tent covers a little bit more of the screen room. Third, and I think most importantly, I paid about the same price for both tents, so the Evanston definitely gave me more bang for my buck. But wait, before you buy any of them, you should check out this video where I compared more than 10 Coleman tents against each other, including this Carlsbad and the Evanston tents. I'll put it up when it's ready, so do check it out. Thank you for watching, and I'll see ya in the next one.